All right, now we're off to Berea Hard. At long last. We didn't go past this point last time, did we? No, but this way leads to Berea Hard. We'll need to stay alert the closer we get then. Oh, you look new. Second form. Second form. Damn. Ooh. It's Good my seals. turn. Uh. Gee, what's there? Water and wind. Ooh. Onward. Well, actually, oh wait, they might actually die here. Well, <laughs> time to break out the battle scope. Yeah. Although, although wait, Machius? Machius' uh, arch string isn't that high because we have Megalith on. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. It's my turn. Huh? Oh, come on. My turn. Sit. Okay, it's safe for now. Celestial Ball. Oh, I got my battle scope back. Uh, nothing down there, but there's a long wind. Oh my god! Well, I don't think we're gonna make it to Berea hard. Oh man. Hello, Aqua Shrine. The Aqua Shrine is waiting. Oh boy, just let me claim my items here first. You know what I kind of miss? I kind of miss the, like, the super dangerous monster chests, like, that were in, uh, the crossbow games. Like, oh, like, the, there's some dangerous monsters here, recommended level 50. I'm like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> I, I kind of miss those. Wait, turn. why are these ones like, like a little more frustrating to try to circle around this time? Unless my timing is off. I think my timing is off, but... Huh. Waters... Water time and mirage. Of course! Analyze. Here I go! Uh... Slash? Yep. Sit. Now! An opening! Tight. You still have a lot of training to do. Yes! Hey, energy shell too. There we go. 40% and 20% EP, so 5% extra EP and 10% more HP than before. Did the area go up from small to medium? I think that might make it more manageable. Oh my god! What a fearsome opponent! Ha! Watch out! This is a tough one! My turn! Alright, let's do this! Oh, Unleash it to me. me! Here I go! Analyzing the enemy's vitals! Croco- what? I got it! Crocodark. Amphibian monster that lives near water. Jaws enough to pierce steel. Yeah. Uh, ow! My turn! Hmm. Nah, there's no way to really do it unless I get behind them like this. 
Mm, I don't want to move them. Ah, screw it. No escape. Sire! It's my turn. Let me see. Ah, yeah, this range is. I think this range is a little bigger, right? Time barrier. You know, that's kind of the reason why I wanted to bring Machias along. Let's move. This is so, this is so nice. Uh. Hmm. True arc slash? No. Well, Gale's the easiest one. Second form. Gale. Now. An opening. Of course. Let's see. Water. More effective. What's it weak to? Poison seal or poison mute sleep. Well, we don't have any of that. Could keep up at least. Oh yeah, I wonder if there's a good U material farming spot in in the Aqua Shrine. Man, I feel so spoiled because like the Watchtower had such a good farming spot because all those uh, archaisms of uh, like uh, rolling around in the Watchtower, you can easily just kill them with one spell. And you just equip Elisa or whoever's your magic caster with like uh with luck and enough arch strength. Oh, I managed to farm all the way up to 60 U materials before I decided for the sake of the stream to just keep moving on because I was kinda of taking forever. But yeah. Because of that, we managed to get our like passionate rouges and evergreens, and I believe yeah, Machias with the still blue because Lord knows that this boy needs to catch up with his arch strength for 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 goodness sake, look at this. He should be holding on to this and bumping his arch strength into the thousands. But he still needs to catch up a little bit. Well, I mean... Mm, actually, no, he got his skill upgrade. Actually, we could bump it back. Although, let's see. Is there anyone else we should... Should I do it? Actually, wait, what? What Master Quartz uh, should I put on? Uh, wing... I mean, good stats overall. Hmm. Although, not really much in terms of default arts, though, which kind of hold it back a bit. Probably be the support with cannon. Yeah. So now that we have this. Breath Recuria, Aqua Bleed. Yeah, okay. Designated healer time. Also, wait, what's your arch strength? 1000. Well, I don't think anyone can really beat Emma. And Elisa. Yeah, they're kind of comparable. But Elisa does have criminal. So that kind of puts her a step above. Actually, oh wait, wait. Leave this to me. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> we have the advantage here. Ugh. Get here fucked. <laughs> oh, I, man, I miss, I miss Laura's like field attack. Like, depending on, like, I'm not sure if it's random or if it's like the fact that it's like a strike type move as well a slash. But oh, it just feels so nice to be able to like stun something just by attacking their front. Second form. Damn. Now! An opening! Right! What do you know shotgun do? Ah. Of course! Yeah, good enough. 
Uh, let's see, dark matter. Good old dark matter. How'd you miss? Oh my, what a lovely chat. Hey, vanish. You know, I was complaining about this thing. I was like, man, this thing is too expensive to even bother trying to make. And they just give you one. So, hey, that's value right there. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, wrong way. I mean, it's the same way the way, but I'm gonna weigh that monster. Ooh, actually, this guy? This could get tricky. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. Let's move. All right, let's do this. I understood. It's my turn. Ooh. Oh. Can't unbalance. Eh. Sure. Ethereal blades. Go for it. Here's our chance. You're mine. Onward. Hmm. Shatter. Get off guard. Our time is now. Right. All right. Understood. Understood. Ha. 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 Oh, so close to getting the other one. It's my turn. Shotgun. Eat that. Yeah. Ah, oh, no drop. That takes care of them. Uh, uh, we have to go down this long, long path here. All right. Hey, you material. Any active voice for what this path is? There we go. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Alright, there's only one of them. Here I go. Ha! Beat him up. Now! An opening! Right! Take this! Of course! Ha! My turn! Ha! We should keep going. Successfully bullied. Huh? Thank goodness! Dun dun. Huh. Do you recognize this path, Laura? I'm afraid not. <sighs> yep, Green's like, ah, oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Stun. There we go. The advantage is ours. Let's move. Sit. Right. Leave this to me. Here I go. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> I've only just begun. Hey, Radiant Blade. Oh, it's a new one? Wait, wait. It's magic? 90% mute. Wait, but what's your ma what's your art stat? Eight sixty. Well, I mean it's a class S, so it should scale decently without needing such a high amount of art strength. I gotta test that out. Also, is this a good area for fishing? Oh. Oh look! There's a treasure chest. Enemy sighted. Let's take him out. Uh oh. Hello. Too slow. Too slow. Let's move. All right. Let's do this. Leave this, this to me. Leave this to me. Hello, man. Okay, you know, I am. You know, we'll, we'll use this once we're in the aqua shroud. I'm curious about this, but first. Oh wait, any crits down the road? Not really. Behold the might of the Arcade School. Radiant. Whoa. Oh, right. Well, that's. Huh. You know what? We got barriers to break right now. 
Get in front. Break. It's my turn. Dance, flames. Astro flare. Nice. Oh wait, one of them is still alive. A triple kill. Sit. Okay, it's safe for now. Do you material? I'm so glad. Isn't this a surprise? Ooh, isn't wait no Dragon Vision was like analyze on kill, right? Yeah. Is that really necessary? I mean. I don't know. I always felt like Dragon Vision was like the most use is like the most useless thing. Cause like normally you would just have someone scan anyways, because when you have like someone like Tio, someone like uh What was it? I mean uh someone like Elliot and Emma who can unbalance as well. Actually, uh what other scans did we have in Trails in the Sky? Wait, wait, did, did someone else have a scan? I don't remember. You don't trust Dragon Vision? Yeah, because, like, who knows how the fight will go and whether or not you end up killing, mm. like, uh, the enemy with whoever doesn't have it equipped. So I'm just like, eh, it feels so unnecessary. Oh. Ooh. Uh, what do I remove? I don't want to remove action too. Like Machias, like poor Machias needs all the speed he can get. Uh, maybe cast for now. Uh, let me just check something. Uh, where was that one item? Ah, here it is. Ingenuity. There we go. Because Machias needs to get his EP back. Oh, anyway, I need to check for fishing spots around here. An ancient ruin? I don't recall ever hearing about a building like this being here. It's not my first time seeing one like this either. And if I had to venture a guess, I'd say this ruin may be why the higher elements are active on the highway. Really? I think so too. Judging by the flow of mana, this is likely the reason for cryptids appearing in this region. It's possible this is one of the spirit shrines concealed throughout the Empire. Grandmother made mention of them when I was younger. The name has an interesting ring to it. I have a meaning to ask. Is it time to ask Selene to come clean? You don't think this place has anything to do with the Divine Knights, do you? The higher elements were active in the old schoolhouse where we found Valimar, after all. Most likely, yes. I'm afraid I don't know anything more specific than that, though. The knowledge the knowledge witches have is gathered from bits and pieces of legends. There's still plenty missing. We should be careful if we plan on stepping inside, at least. This should prove to be a good test of our skills. We may be short on time, but I'd say there's merit to exploring this ruin. Yeah, we'll get bonus AP if we complete this. Actually, hold on. Let me let me scoop back a little bit. I'm like, ah, uh... okay, I have to be careful. Huh? Whoops. Right, but first, oh, I could probably hey, fish here. Hey, fishing spot. <laughs> first try. That was just a completely lucky guess as to like where the spot was. I mean, of course, it had to be here somewhere. All right, you know what has to be done. Get my fishing hands ready. You know what? Ah, it's a trout. Ooh, we're definitely gonna have a lot of points when we get back to when we get back to Ymir to buy some new stuff. I just kind of wish that the fish would give us more than just like five points. Like, come on. <laughs> oh. Caught one. 
supplies. Is there, is there one more for us to get? One more. Uh, it feels like there is a hard limit on like how much you can mash per second. Maybe it's like their way of putting in turbo protection. Cause like it feels like the how much I'm mashing should be a little faster than I'm pulling in. I don't know. I have I don't have anything to really like prove this, but it feels like there's like a hard limit somewhere. But hold on. Let me see. Remember, bare minimum, two fish. At max, four. Well, we got a third! It's just the, uh, what was it called, Cassigan? Not bad. Yep, yep. Huh. Well, there's our fourth fish. It's not new though, it's a fighter. I think that's a fighter. Not bad. Yep. Well, we don't really get anything uh, from catching these again. So I was gonna reload that. Save the ground bait. This spot looks Because you know what has me like miffed, confused, and all that stuff? Why does buying a thing of ground bait cost five U materials? Like, hold on. Like, I I'm not, I'm not seeing things. Am I like, well, let's go back to Yumi real quick, and then go to the exchange shop. One ground bait for five U material. You're telling me this, this fish bait has near equivalent, like. Or is like roughly one fourth the value of like a passionate rouge or something. Never really buying ground bait. Yeah, but like I, I just like unless the fish are a lot more viable in terms of fishing points, and you get it in sets and all that. Why is it worth five for one? There's no good reason. Oh wait 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 uh. Oops. I thought we can talk to, uh... Actually, no, 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 it wasn't the... It wasn't Annabelle... Where was Annabelle? Clover's... Jail Tavern? Well, ah, uh, well, either way, though. But yeah, Could like, I was thinking here. about trying to buy some ground bait, only just because I was just a couple points off from buying, uh, the SR Quartz in there. I believe it was called... What was it called again? Uh... I forget, it was an SR tier Wind Quartz that I couldn't get. Because I was like a couple points off, but I really didn't want to spend my ground bait unless the ground bait itself was cheap. And I view it as like cheap as in just one new material. But unfortunately, not the case. So I'm gonna have to wait and get that. Oh yeah, I forgot. You always have a rest station here. Uh, how are slots doing? Okay, it looks like it might be time to upgrade. So I think out of anyone who could use their EP a lot... So Emma has the benefit of having Mirage. Elisa, she tends to use her crafts because I just like using her as a CP battery. So Machias will be our next quartz or slot upgrade. So I think we'll go for... We'll go for this slot, and also an Earth slot, and that should be good. In terms of- oh, wait! She didn't even have, like, level 1s for any of this. 
Oh dear god. Yeah, no, we're we're making all of this. Yeah. Okay, look. Oh my god. Okay, we need another we need another chest. What a peculiar place. Indeed. The water element seems the most strongly present here. If you're gonna walk around, try not to get yourselves killed. <laughs> Celine is just so tired of us, like, wasting our time getting sidetracked all the time. Look, we need this lore about Emperor Dreykos and him during the War of the Lions. Because in the Nord Highlands, we saw him with the people of Nord over in uh, the Gorelia By Road. We saw... Wait, wait, how did that scene play out again? Okay, I kind of forgot how the scene in the Byro played out at the shrine, at the Earth Shrine. Oh. How'd that play out again? Oh, I forgot. But I know that it's all Emperor Dreykos at various points in the War of the Lions, at the very least. Because the... The wind trial is definitely him talking to the people of Nord, getting their support for the War of the Lions. Run! We have the advantage here. Here I go. All right, let's do it. Let's do this man. Right. Hmm. Dark matter. Of course. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Leave this to me. Oh, they're particularly weak to slash. They're off guard. Got you. Nice. Good damage. It's my turn. And shotgun. Ah! <sighs> that takes care of them. Bacchus with the level up. Exactly how it should be. All right, getting that precious speed up from these levels. Uh, all right, we got a couple things to change around. Yeah! <laughs> we have oh, the thank you, Laura. Here. Thank you so much. Let's move. Second form. Damn! Right. Eat that. Here I go. Analyzing. Actually, Onward. what do these have? Nah, gelatin, all that stuff, man. Nah. Actually, okay, wait, wait. I'm curious. How does this look like and how good is the damage? Blade of light! Go! Leave this to me! Hmm. Hmm. So you would probably Okay, so we might actually maybe down the road. Might actually want to change Laura's Master Quartz to something that gives more Arch Strength, and maybe give her a Mind Quartz as well. And then, hmm. Although it would be kind of a pain in the ass trying to scale up both Strength and Arch Strength. Oh. Usus. Right. He's the only one that can boost Strength and Arch Strength and Speed at the same time. Right, he's perfect for this. He was made for this. Shotgun. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh, it's one of these things that lower the... Oh, it lowers the thing overall because it floats on the water. Oh. Hello. You want to turn around real quick? Thank you. Oh, that's only a that's only double chance. damage. Let's get him. Let's move. All right, let's do this. Right, it right to me. me. It's my turn. Here I go. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. 
<sighs> Alright, so... Oh, the higher elements don't care. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, 8% extra damage with fire. Eh, it'd be a waste to waste the strength up here. Is that a new animation? Because I don't remember Laura doing that little like front flip with the greatsword. Also, how the hell are you gonna do that front flip with a greatsword? Holy crap. Like, right. I don't doubt Laura's strength to do such a thing, but I kind of doubt not having the greatsword kind of make contact with the ground just by virtue of how long it is when doing such a move. Eat that. Here it's like, huh? should be safe now. Oh, maybe get like spinning like sideways to generate momentum and then having a crash down. But doing like a jumping front flip with a great so I'm like that's a miracle it doesn't catch on the ground and stop like uh stop the attack. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, trial chest. Oh, I'm going to have to restore Oh boy. Now's our chance. Let's move. Uh Actually in passion. Uh, leave this to me. Been a hold right here. Leave this to me. They're off guard. Do anything. Here I go. Okay, serene blessing. Blessing of the moon. You have my thanks. Yeah. Right. Okay, this would be a little bit of a waste, but... Oh, wait. Oh! I can't try to... No, Laura's too close. I wanted to bring Laura to the 100 CP right there. Oh! Oh, damn. My turn! Onward! Oh. Leave this to I me. Didn't think you'd actually miss. Let's move. It's my turn. Blessing of the moon. You have my thanks. Leave this to me. Can you handle this? Not to worry. Alright. Good old tea time. You have my thanks. Thank you very much. Let's move. Let's go finish this. Our fighting was in Alright, trial chest, what do we got? Laura and Emma. Let me make a save before I regret my decision. I welcome all challengers. Oh. Of course. What the heck? Well, I mean, if it's free and we're gonna analyze anyway. Now. Shining R. Ooh. My turn. Maybe radiant wings will do me well here. Don't I? I need to scan the small ones, but we have a crit thing here. Hmm. Actually, what's your burn chance? Hmm. Ah, screw it. We can survive one more turn. Analysis complete. Predictable. Now's our chance. Oh. Oh wait, oh yeah, wait, we can't do rush or we can't do burst because oh whoops. Now's our chance. Emma, 
Ah, uh, not that bad. Alright. Actually, we could wait one more turn. Oh wait, oh wait, wait, I mistimed the- oh. Wait, I thought that if I shifted- Oh, wait, was it because I shifted too early? Oh no, duh, I shifted too early. Oh. I was like, did I not read the turn order correctly? I, I probably didn't. Oh, uh, wait. Alright, level 3 Link. Another trial chest down. Sure. Let's see. Finding chains. How about this? Stop. It's my turn. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Sorry for the trouble. I'll handle this. All right, time to fund everyone. Hang in there. Thanks. You have my face. You have my face. We should All right. keep going. Advantage is ours. Let's move. Uh, let's do a true arc slash. Now, an opening. I can do this. May I? Now, gotcha. Onward. My turn. Sit. Okay, it's safe for now. There's a treasure chest! Blue scale blue- didn't I buy that or- Oh. Well, I suppose it can go on someone else back in your mirror. Oh. Actually, we need to go around for that monster chest. Any fishing spots here? Actually, are there any fishing spots in the Aqua Shrine? This will be over in an instant. Let's move! Oh, these guys have U materials. Oh, is there a good, is there an easy farming spot for these within the shrine? Oh, that would help so much. No problem. Completely neutral. Okay. Oh no, Ariel's overkill. Let's go. Very well. <laughs> Onward. Good crit. <laughs> that takes care of them. Ah, uh, my you would cereal. Oh, isn't this a pleasant surprise? <laughs> Time to clean up this. May I? Well. Oh, this looks beautiful. How about this? Die. Here I go. Irene. Oh, wait, wait, this one couldn't move in. Oh, wait, wait, did it? Oh, it dodged somehow. Oh. Huh. Well. At least we get a big, juicy hit here. Burn to ash. Fall! Now! Now, Laura! Leave this to me! Leave this to me! Wait, how are they still- Oh, they're not within range of the rush. No escape! Zaya! Right! Hey. Right! Hey. With pleasure. We mustn't tarry here too long. Hmm. Not bad. 
I'm so glad. All right, what do we get from that? Oh, oh, wait, scent. Oh, aerial grand press and dark matter, but enemies will notice us more often. should be able to stun the monsters without needing to worry about direction and well shouldn't be that bad to begin with because we still try to stun lock the enemies and then try to run around them all right how are our links doing uh right i should probably focus back on these two yeah we'll keep a split like this for now What are your stats? Uh, weak to fire. Well, about that fire weakness. Ah, oh, you're telling me I can't. Oh. Let's go. Let's move. Huh. Is that well. nudging enough? Is that nudging enough? Onward. Yeah. We made it out in one piece. I did it. Alright, good level up. More speed is always nice. Hmm. No, there wouldn't be fishing spots in the places where water can be raised. Actually, no, nah, no, nah, there wouldn't be any fishing spots here. If the level's adjustable. Oh, wait, wait, we're here already? Oh, I thought there'd be a second floor. Oh. No fishing in this area? Yeah, because I thought there'd be, like, uh, an area where the water wouldn't be affected by the... Or there would be an area that's, that'd be untouched by the raising and lowering uh, water levels. Oh then, all right then. Let's go. All right. Be on guard, everyone. Ooh. With pleasure. Material higher, so higher elements in general. Sorry, would you mind? No problem. Time barrier. Break. Let's move. All right, let's do this. All right. Understood. Leave this to me. Actually, can I silence them? No, of course not. Cause them to faint. 30% effect or er, efficacy. Uh, stat downs only applied on one. Hmm. I think I'll chance it on this. No escape. Zaya! Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh, come Man. on. Actually, actually, probably should overdrive here. Here I go! Overdrive! Witness the severing chains. You know, with how much we're gonna delay our turn with the 
with uh, accelerating our turns with Overdrive. Green? What was it? Reen's and Sharon's turn are gonna be so delayed. Oh boy. But we should be able to make do this fight. And also that one boss is fainted, so he'll take we will keep taking these crits. Should be able to cast instantly. So knockout, confusion, confusion? Confusion. Also, you're burned. Yeah. Alright, Machias. Let's go! Magazine just loaded on top of a gun like that. Now that I look at it. But uh, anyone else, anyone else notice that? Cause like it's only pulled off for a short amount of time. You don't really notice the weapon detail that much. But why is it loaded on top like that? that, takes care of that. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are guns out there that are uh, loaded like that. But I'm always used to seeing, you know, the magazine uh, loaded under. That's, hmm. Again, okay, it's not like the most uncommon thing. I just, I just kind of noticed it. Isn't this a surprise? Huh? Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh Machias. We did it. Uh, they were certainly formidable. Yeah, they took three S crafts to the face. From what I can gather, they were trying to protect this door. Yeah, it was like that when we visited one of the other shrines too. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't. What about you, Celine? Who knows? Celine. Oh, Celine, you may be a talking cat, but you're still a cat. Oh, I'm sure she's not being secretive to hurt us. It's likely her way of saying that we shouldn't concern ourselves with it at the present time. That does sound like Celine. So basically, this is either going to be a future plotline in Cold Steel 3, or something that comes up in the like around the last two chapters of this game. There's no in-between. It's either this is like final chapters, or it's going to be Cold Steel 3. I'm sorry she's behaving this way. I'll see if I can get anything out of her later. Thanks. Either way, this seems as... This seems to be as far as we can we can go for now. We might as well turn around and he uh, head back out. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Alright, let me see. You're that girl! Oh? It it's dangerous here! Hurry and flee! <laughs> Your Highness. Perhaps you should take a closer look at us and see if you still feel the same way. The Lance Maiden and the Eisenritter? Yo! Let's fucking go! We get to see the moment they meet! Just... who are you? The doctor's daughter you encountered, uh, was a mere disguise. Doctor's daughter? Wait, do we read about anything regarding a doctor's daughter in any earlier book? No. In truth, I am the leader of, of a band of mighty warriors from the distant land of Lagram, who gather in Lohengrin Castle. The Eisenritter. Green? Did you see something? Yeah, and it's not the first time either. There's like a video of some kind uh, started playing inside my head. That's called a vision, sir. There is someone they call Your Highness, and I heard the Eisenritter being mentioned too. The 
Eisenritter? That's peculiar. Of all things, why them? You got me. It didn't feel like a dream or an illusion, either. It felt more real than that. Like I was watching someone's memories of something that had, ha had actually happened. Someone's memories. What if they were Emperor Dracos? Hey. <laughs> oh, hey, there's an idea. If it were, your highness would be the young Prince Dracos. Given that he fought alongside the Eisenritter, I could see them being mentioned around him. Exactly, all the pieces fall into place. Except for... well, except for why Reen and only Reen can see his memories in the first place. Selene. As curious as I am, I don't think we've got time to try and get to the bottom of it right now. Let's keep going. Yeah, no, this is definitely like a final, like, two chapters of Cold Steel 2 kind of thing. There's no way that they're gonna hold on to this plot thread for that long, right? Right? Just like how the Tetracyclic Towers, like, they're, they're totally gonna refer to them at the end of uh, Trails in the Sky 1, right? Yeah! <laughs> uh... Poor, poor fool. Alright. Oh shit, I forgot. Dude, all this stuff. I forgot about Grand Blue again. Oh, did someone finish my raid for me? Oh. Oh! I just realized! Because my full auto in Grand Blue takes longer than 10 minutes with how long this boss is. That's when my phone falls asleep from lack of input. Even if there's something currently active on screen. Oh my god, do I really have to change when my screen goes, like, when my screen turns off to half an hour? Are you serious? <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to farm Guild Wars right now and this full auto takes freaking forever. Or did my full auto die and I didn't notice it? What? Hold on, are you- oh my god, you cannot believe how upset I'm feeling right now over this. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I should stay away from Grand Blue. <laughs> or at least stay away from the more competitive or endgame side of Grand Blue. Just enjoy it casually. Speaking of things to enjoy casually, did you know? <laughs> Grand Blue is having its One Piece collab next week. I don't know crap about One Piece except for the initial episodes I saw when it was on Four Kids way back when in the US. Censorship and all. And then until the time it finally moved on to Toonami, but then it stopped showing because Toonami shut down around mid 2000s ish? Man, I, I know Toonami's this been back tricky. now, Look but sharp. I really miss watching Toonami, and I don't really have cable anymore. Just like the usual, I mean, only mainly my family that uses it. Mainly like the regular satellite, like TV, just to get like the news stations and stuff. I haven't watched Toonami forever. But yeah, like, I mean, man, now I, now I, uh... I'm having like the nostalgia glasses on. One piece is alright, but not worth it at all to get into. <laughs> uh, you know I've had friends that have rewatched all of One Piece at least, or I think at least twice, maybe, or at least once, maybe twice. And I'm just like, ha! Huh? Oh, like, you fucking what? I'm like, how? I mean, I'm sure on the rewatch, they probably skipped the filler episodes, I think. Or, I'm not 100% sure on that, because I hear that... Uh, or, I uh, hear, like, there are a good amount of fillery stuff to skip, but... I don't know, I think I remember one of them mentioning uh, they don't skip the filler. I'm like, how much time do you have? 
How, how much time do you have, sir? Right, here I go. My turn. Because holy shit, I know I waste my time with JRPGs and other whatever else with gacha games, but holy shit, is there something else to dedicate that much time to watching and also rewatching One Piece? One Piece also rather moves in slow motion. Yeah, I kind of hear there's like some pacing problems. Like, I mean, it's kind of like a thing in a lot of like really big shonen anime and stuff like that in general, doesn't it? Like, you have like your big arcs. You have what was it? You have your big arcs, and then you have like the actual like showdown moments of like the the big moments of an arc like every now and again and the climax and then you know they love dragging it out for so long. I mean hell like case in point like when you look at one of the big ones like Dragon Ball like how long is it going to take for Goku to like charge up his fucking power or like how long a fight would take to not get too close to the manga so it drags it out really badly. I mean I don't Huh. I mean, I don't mind if they stay close to the the manga, like, if it feels that... Hmm... I mean, I don't know, because like, at some point it kind of feels like, is all this filler, or all this like really slow pacing really necessary? I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know shit about making an anime, but I'm like, man, when I see stuff dragged out like that long... Like, unless I really care about it. Or if the anime is already done, like, what was it? Because I remember binge watching uh, Kuroko no Basuke, I think. Oh, that was some hype shit. But I. Actually, no, no, no. Didn't I watch part of it as it was airing? I think I did. Because, yeah, during some of the matches, like, oh my god. Like, so many freaking things of monologue, like, every now and again, or maybe potential flashbacks when you get to, like, the. Uh, crazier stuff. J just so like they can take the sweet ass time and finally build up for the moment of realization or whatever to go, oh my god, something something power friendship. I don't freaking know at this point. But, ugh. <laughs> I'm like, this whole episode and like 10 plus minutes were just dedicated to flashbacks or monologue where the match has only moved like one minute. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> if I decide to get into One Piece, the manga's a lot faster than well paced. I'm not really much of a manga reader, to, uh, manga reader, to be honest. Like, there's like some that I read, but not like... It's like very rare that I read manga. Like the only manga that I remember reading recently was like, Sleepy Princess in the Demon's Castle. And actually, I'm not sure if I, I don't think I caught up on that one. Uh, and a lot of other manga that I've read back then was like... Yeah, no, I can't really recall too much aside from, uh... <clears throat> well... Let's just say I was in a... Phase of reading a lot of Yuri manga. Many of which were either like one-shots like, very few chapters, or cancelled outright, and I'm just like, in emotional distress. Because I'm like, oh my god, but this is actually kind of neat! But yeah, like, uh, I remember reading, like, a uh, Yuri manga called Swap Swap, where basically, like, the premise is, like, two girls that walk through, like, a certain superstitious, like, rock, where, you know, it's kind of like a whole thing about, like, uh, couples walking through, They'll be in love forever. Some, some. It's been a while since I read that, but basically the whole gimmick is like, it's basically like anyone remember watching the movie uh, Freaky Friday where like two, I forget their names, but like the two women like swap bodies or some shit. Or was it a was it a mom and daughter or is it a or who? No, was it a mom and daughter that had like this huge like family conflict between each other? Or something like that, but then because of some weird bullshit, they swap bodies. But like basically with swap swap, like uh, two schoolgirls swap uh, bodies, and the only way they can switch back and forth at will, mind you, is by kissing. <laughs> so it's just kind of cute like that. And 
I think it- I think that manga finished a long time ago, but I never went back to finishing it. I was, like, way far in. I think. And yeah, the only other manga I've read but haven't kept up with, uh... Monster Musume. <laughs> Aside from that, I don't- I haven't really read much other kinds of, uh, manga. Uh, no, I, I just prefer watching anime instead. Or reading- or, funnily enough, reading light novels. I don't know why, I never really bother going out of my way for manga, which should be easier to get into to read compared to a light novel. <laughs> I don't know, man, I just like my nitty-gritty world building. <laughs> okay, let's go back to reading, though. So, uh, well, we made it through the Ebo Highway. This point marks the beginning of the South uh, Crescent Highway. Uh, there doesn't seem to be, uh, seem to be any fog uh, this far away from the ground, thankfully. Rayhard's not that far off now. You can just see the sneak was just over there. This is likely where the real uh, challenge begins. We're about we're to set foot in a city ruled by one of the most powerful figures in our, in the alliance. We must practice extreme caution. Yeah. All it could take is one careless action or word to get us arrested. Or how will we even get inside? Oh, uh, don't worry. Emma's got that covered. Yes, that shouldn't pose any trouble. Fortunately, the south entrance isn't likely to be as heavily guarded. Huh? You got some kind of plan in mind? Uh, <laughs> I can't guarantee if it'll actually work, but I do. For starters, let's head to the south gate. I'll take care of the- She's- Does she have some kind of, like, force persuasion or temporary mind control spell of some sort as a witch? That everyone will raise an eyebrow about, but everyone's like, Aww. <laughs> Cause the main story to advance. As a result, all, un all unfinished requests would disappear. Ah, my. The advantage is ours. My turn. Platinum bug. Nah, let's just scan it. Oh wait, wait. Uh, oh, Emma's not in front. Actually. Sorry. I'll take it from here. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Analysis complete. Right. <laughs> Oh wait, uh, in the line? Oh, come on, Machias. If I started in one square to the left, I would be able to angle it and then actually hit both. Oh. Take this! Now's our chance! An opening! Very well. <laughs> now! I'll back you up! Onward! We should keep going. Actually, wait, let me look up my manga list, because I'm sure I've read more than this, and more than, like, the, like, hold on, more than, like, the Yuri stuff that I've, like, binge read every now and again. <laughs> like, what other mangas have I actually read? Hold on. Oh, did I actually not import my manga list to any list? Because, like, I moved away from uh, my anime list. Uh, let's see, because, uh, what was it, for a time I was playing, uh, anime music quiz, and it was during a time where the, my anime list API wasn't working properly, so it couldn't really import, so I moved over to any list. Uh, what other manga did I read? That isn't Yuri, holy shit. Uh, okay, no, that, no, that is kind of Yuri, but that's like Yandere stuff, uh. Happy Sugar Life. <laughs> see, well, yeah, more more kind of Yuri stuff. Uh, Kobayashi Made Dragon. Uh, no, that's more Slice of Love Yuri shit. New game. Although I haven't finished reading New Game. I watched season one, but I haven't like caught up with the manga. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Uh. Actually, how do you pronounce that? Tonari no Yuketsuki-san. Or basically the Miss Vampire Lives in My Neighborhood. I've read that one for quite a bit. So basically more slice of life Yuri shit. <laughs> Is there anything that's not Yuri shit on my, on my manga list? Wait. 
When was this entered into my wait? I don't remember reading this. Oh no, no this was uh, this is my planning to want. Or not watch, read. Blech. Oh my god. Oh yeah, wait, there's this one manga that I read that was like... Oh, actually, kind of curious on how this one ends, because it was kind of like, uh... Kind of a crazy start with how how it went. But basically like, you know, high school anime girl, but then for some reason wakes up as her uh, as her older self, as a 29 year old office lady. But she has no idea how her life turned out uh, to that point. And the person she had a crush on, she ended up like, <clears throat> I think getting married to another dude when I, I believe they said they promised beautiful. to be together or that like, you know, wait for me to get into college as well or some shit like that. But then fast forward around 13 years in that girl's life and it's like her whole world has been like turned upside down because like she can't figure out like why like everyone's acting so different or like what the hell happened in that time gap. But then I never really kept up with that manga. Oh, from what the my uh, from what the my anime list site rates it from user ratings, it rates it around a six. I'm like, oh, I guess it's not really paced out that well. Well, if the user ratings are accurate to an extent, I'm like, oh. Right. I remember reading like the first couple chapters. I'm like, holy shit. Like, this girl is, like, dealing with so, so much, like, uh, confusion and emotional distress over, like, this weird, like, uh, jump in time that she's, like, going through. It's like, she was just in high school saying goodbye to her friends, going off to college, and then, for some reason, it's like 13 years later, and it's like, wait, who are these people? Who am I with? Why is the person that I ha have a crush on or probably in love with or something, like, have a totally different personality and with someone else I'm like wait what's going on <laughs> but yeah I'm like oh I don't know so it yeah, stuff's been crazy Analyzing the enemy's vitals. but then I believe when I was reading My it turn. I believe it was just I believe it just started out so there weren't that many chapters to begin with so then once I caught up I never actually did bother going back to read it, or at least like bookmarking the page you know, when it updates, or something. Very well. How about this? Down. Yeah, I don't My know how that, right. uh, you still longer have a developed. Lot of training to Actually, do. wait, I need to double check it out. It's been several years. It's either cancelled, or actually, like, Finished. Hold on. Wait, how do I check if, uh... If, uh, manga is finished? Oh no, it is finished. It's only... Oh, it's only, like, two volumes, ten chapters? Oh. Huh. You know, I'm kind of curious of it as... Wait... That's short? No, wait. No, wait, wait, no, it should've been cancelled then, because wait, with a premise like that, it would feel like it would take a long time to develop that story, or a good amount of chapters to develop that story, and wrap it up. We have the advantage here! Oh, that's dirty! May I? Oh, that's dirty! If you want to go for monster completion here, look at, look at these different colored birds! Oh, that is dirty! It's like Trails from Zero all over again with that stupid butterfly. No, this is the same butterfly enemy. It's just in 3D. Right. Get the fuck out of here. They're off balance. An opening. This is it. It's my turn. Okay, you scan the blue one though. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. It's just that I was used to I looking at looking at them in the crossbow games because 
They were a lot bigger in the crossbow games. Leave Their sprites were huge. Huh? Now's our chance. You're mine. Full. With pleasure. Leave this to me. Huh? Now's our chance. An oh, that is dirty. Um, I must ask. Is using a shotgun difficult? Not as difficult as swinging around that sword all day. <laughs> oh, you know, that'd be kind of an interesting sight to see. Seeing uh, Laura and Machias swapping weapons. Laura with a shotgun and then Machias just like struggling to wield the great sword at any, like, uh, to wield the sword at all, effectively. Like, oh man, I can just see the memes now. It's like, like, years down the line after, like, uh, like, uh, Laura, like, uses, uh, an Olgo shotgun. And then, it's like, what was it? She gets into a fight, and then it's like, Very well. or I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of like the whole, uh, you know, Armstrong family kind of deal, but then instead she just pulls out a fucking shotgun. It's like, what the, it's like, what the fuck uh, has the Air State School been teaching? It's like, we learned some new things. It's <laughs> just like, bust out a shotgun. How about this? Leave this to me! Alright. Wait, you can get four here. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Yeah! Break! Ah, oh, my eyes! They're off balance! An opening! It's my turn! How about this? Onward! See ya! We should keep going. I'm so oh, glad. they drive you. Which are yours? Sweet. Yes. <sighs> Whoop. Ooh, Sepeth Mass. Hello. <gasps> we have the advantage here. May I? How about this? Ooh. Leave this to me. Ah! They're off balance. Time to finish them off. Leave this I to me. It. Take this. Ah! Ah! Take it. Oh. Of course. One still alive. Yeah. Ah, we should be safe now. No, 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 no. Ba, ba. Oh, I say press E. Oh shit. Wait. Why can't I turn around? Wait. My turn. Wait, I thought I, wait, why don't they let me turn around? That's weird. Second form. Damn! Now's our chance! An opening! No problem! Well actually. Ah, uh, you know what we could use it here. I have my things. Leave this to me. Ah! Oh. My Oh. How? Oh, please. Well, okay, my everyone's turn. whiffing. That's that. Let's keep moving. Because I just I just remembered, uh, is there a fishing spot anywhere? Probably. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm missing something here. Fishing senses are tingling. Huh. Oh, a new one, green salamander. Not what I had in mind. Or just salamander. Nice. Huh. Huh. Bad. Huh. 
We already got this one, right? And yeah, that's our third fish here. Uh, I think that should be it. I'll go try one more time. Halfway there, the fishing? Hey! I'll go see if there's like a fourth fish. So there's the Arnor Carp. There's the, uh... This thing. And the salamander. Not bad. Huh. Not what I had in mind. Eh, nah, no, I'll go reload it. Seems like those three are the ones, or the only ones fishing. here. Yeah, right. Mid drop. Hey, you uh, two you materials. Nice. <laughs> Sedative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I just carry on. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's keep running. Uh, thing there. Well, actually, uh, you never know. It could be a U material. Yeah! See, it was nothing. <laughs> Any new enemy here? No, just the platinum bug again. <laughs> god, the, hit, the lingering hitbox on that Very thing. Well. I've got this. Second form. Damn! It's my turn. Here I go. Blessing of the Lord. Thanks. Onward. Huh? Oh, I didn't think that actually killed. Oops. Right. Eat that. Now's our chance. An opening. Well, now we're good. Um, I must ask, is using a shotgun difficult? Not as difficult as swinging around that sword, I'll bet. There's gotta be someone out there that would have thought about having Laura hold a shotgun. Yeah, right. And and what was it? Mock is struggling to use Laura's great sword. Hero Bomb. Uh, whoop! Almost forgot this one. Now is this uh, a what? Let's take him out. Here I go. Arc is activate. Onward. Let's move. Oh my, what a lovely chest. Y yeah, the lovely. Okay, let's just swap. Man, look at this triple front line here. Holy crap. Careful, oh, everyone. It's Let's just move. all the birds. Yeah. Of course. Arc is activate. Very well. You know what? If you would. No problem. Time barrier. To me. Oh. Oh. Ah! 
You missed. Ow. Oh my god. Okay, I need to pass on Evergreen Alora. Holy crap. Come on, you have one job. There. That's that. Let's keep moving. One job. <gasps> Taurus. Wait. No, isn't Taurus the one that boosts your normal attack but then delays you more? Oh, really? Or is this actually better than last time? Because, like... How the... Wait, how much was the boost from Taros compared to... The previous game? Or Cold Steel 1? Actually, you know what? I'll have someone... Uh... Oh, I mean... Eh, you know what? I'll give it a shot on... Sharon, at the very least, to get it to level 3. But I don't have much confidence in this thing, because, again, turn, like, the value of getting your getting in a turn is more viable than any kind of damage. You don't want to get lapped by an enemy, especially when you're playing on Harder Nightmare. Especially against one-sided, like, what was it, like, one-sided scenarios where an enemy has super beefed up stats compared to where the rest of your party is. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, it's just the ch uh, it's just the crates there. Let's move. Right. Here I go. All right, Emma. Let me see you work your charm here. I'm pretty sure they won't notice like a couple of school students and a maid just making their way into town from the gram. Halt. Are you travelers? You could say that, yes. You know, you you would kind of think that they would have, like, posters of all of Class 7 and who else is related to Class 7 right here. Like, hello? <laughs> like, for basically, like, the Noble Alliance's most wanted, especially in their own town. You would think that they would go, oh wait, let me check your faces real quick. You know. You would think that they would actually, I don't know anymore, man. We came here from the Gram. Would it be possible for us to enter the city? What, on foot? Not every day we see guys like you. Why didn't you just use the train? <laughs> Much as we would have liked to. The wait for the next one was simply too long. Thanks to the new regulations, there are hardly any trains running anymore. We found it was actually faster to come by foot. Hmm. Well, if you say so. You can enter, but we're going to need to check if any of you are on our wanted list first. Oh, well... This is my... <laughs> well... We still have reason to believe that there are people out there plotting against the Noble Alliance. We can't be too careful. Oh, what? No, we're just trying to find a long-lost friend who was lost to the, like, conflicts of, of, of war and stuff. Let's see. Where's that list? <clears throat> this isn't good. Emma, I know what. Oh. Um, excuse me. Specialize. Could I ask you to look into my eyes for a moment, please? Huh? That's an odd request. Uh-oh. Oh. What the? Huh? We're just common travelers, and we aren't on that list of yours. Which means we can pass, right? Hmm. Why are you still standing there? Go along inside. Just don't go causing any trouble, unless you want to find yourselves arrested. Holy shit. Uh <laughs> she really does have like... Oh my god. 
Thank you very much. Shall we be going? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> uh, nowhere is safe with Emma, huh? If you're somehow on her bad side. She can open your locks with some magic words. She can persuade anyone who looks into her eyes. And whatever other countless magic spells she has in her, like, repertoire or whatever. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> I'm surprised by how well that went. Yeah, it feels like it was almost too easy. Then again, I remember seeing Vita do, the, do something similar a while back. It was a form of hypnosis. I'm just gl uh, glad I was able to pull that off. W well, that's certainly not something any normal person could do. That's one way of reminding us that you really are a witch. I was surprised by all the tricks uh, she showed me too. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing fancy actually. It's certainly nothing compared to Vita's lullabies. For one thing, you can't use it on too many people at once. The more you use it, the more likely they're going to catch on and be on guard for it. Don't rely on it too much. Only got us into Berehard. That's enough for me. Thanks, Emma. I thought we would have gone this far without you. Uh, we should start. You. We should start looking for uses. Right. Holy crap! Oh man, are we actually gonna see inside the the Alborea's house? Oh my god! Or family mansion, I mean. Dude, dude, I feel so sorry for these maids. Holy shit, you gotta like pat down the dust like for these huge halls. Oh my god. Duke Alborea. The Noble Alliance's advantage in this war remains overwhelming as always. Rufus has achieved much in his position as Chief of Staff as well. Oh yeah, when I was referring to Rufus's uh, position in the Noble Alliance, yeah, I got that wrong. Yeah, yeah I forgot, it was Chief of Staff. Whoops. Alright, wasn't... No, it was Duke... Uh... Kyan that named himself as like Supreme Commander or some shit. But the fact remains, that fool Kyan is still the one with the most influence and power. Something must be done about this. But what? Ah How? yes. Nothing says noble alliance like inner conflicts between noble men. Ah yes. So that was your line of thinking when you sent those Jaegers to Ymir, was it? You moved to take Princess Alfin into your custody and use her to replace Duke Cayenne as Supreme Commander of the Alliance. Do you have something you want to say to me, Eusis? You seem very unhappy about the fact I sent him to the hometown of one of your classmates. And nearly killed his- nearly killed, uh, Reen's dad. Not at all, father. However, I do believe my brother also expressed disapproval of those actions. I humbly ask that you think twice before interfering with any neutral powers in the future. Yeah, no, we ain't remaining neutral any longer, you know. And I would suggest you think twice before involving yourself in matters that are of no concern to you. Focus on the work you have been given and leave me to do mine. Holy shit. Can we just punch Albert, Duke Albrecht's face in? Holy shit. I apologize for speaking out of turn. I must think of something that will allow me to seize his position. I can't allow that pompous halfwit to call himself the Alliance's supreme commander for a moment longer. Oh boy. Hmm. I may need to reconsider how Rufus should be acting in his position as well. Blonde-haired boy. 
<laughs> uh, you know, I kind of find it funny how it, it like it still just like goes to the vague. Oh, blonde hair, but of course we know who Eustace is. We're playing the second game of Cold Steel. <laughs> no shit. Uh, but oh man, welcome back to Berea Hard. Oh boy. Any new things in the shop? Oh. Oh. Huh? Wait. Eight hundred arts defense? Excuse me? Oh my god! Well, I should probably keep a couple of these handy. Oh my god! If there's ever a magic fight that we'll have to tank through. I mean, I know where to. I know what to buy. How much do we have? If we want, we can pretty much buy one for our whole party. Huh. Not to mention the shoes with 7 speed on them and extra movement. At the expense of some defense, but... That's actually not a bad trade. The, these leather sandals are really good. Uh... Uh... I would like the extra arch strength too, but remember, speed is king. You don't want to lose out on speed. Okay, so we know what to buy there. We'll go talk with the rest of the NPCs later. stuff. Uh-huh. Any new quartz? No. Not really. Oh, man. Alright. I think this is a good spot to wrap up Cold Steel 2 for tonight. Oh, boy. We got a lot of ground to cover. But yeah, holy shit, Emma. <laughs> uh, never mess with witches. Alright, yeah, so we got a lot of stuff done tonight. Finally got through the gram. Finally traveled all the way to Berea Hard and everything. Went through the Aqua Shrine. Surprisingly, I thought the Aqua Shrine would have had at least two floors to it. I was, I was like, huh. But yeah, you know, <laughs> like, compared to, I mean, uh, okay, I, I just want to talk about, like, Soul Hackers 2 again while we're at this. Because, like, I've been trying to grind Soul Hackers 2 off stream, but the more I've been trying to, like, grind through and progress some, like, unimportant stuff with Soul Hackers 2, with, like, the Soul Matrix stuff, which is, like, they say it's an optional dungeon, but basically as you go through, you get more, like, character memories and history, context, and all that stuff. But basically, a lot of the dungeons so far in Soul Hackers 2, they're very big, empty, and sort of... and pretty much bland. Oh, we can't, like, head back out? Yeah. So, like, basically, the enemies... Like, what was it? In Cold Steel, and, or in Trails in general, you always see in, like enemies like already pre-spawned. But in Soul Hackers, or Soul Hackers 2, they kind of pop up within your general vicinity and then decide whether to aggro or not they spawn in looking in your direction or another way. And then when you attack, like... Well, mm, Like... Imagine how fuel attacking works in Cold Steel 1, but more stiff. 
So I'm like, ugh. Because when you try to attack an enemy, like, you kind of, you kind of, like, locked into this whole animation instead of, like, being able to kind of, like, easily start maneuvering again. So, like, the recovery time is a lot, or what was it? The recovery time of the backswing is a lot longer and you can't really break out of it to start moving again to reposition into another attack to try, like, get behind enemies. Although in Soul Hackers, you don't need to get behind an enemy. But, like, I don't know, it always, feel, it always felt weird. But yeah, like, with the dungeons in general for Soul Hackers 2, what was it? Like, you know, like I said, big, empty, bland. There's like no gimmicks to really make going through the dungeon more interesting, at least so far. Because at least with the one major story dungeon I went through, it's like, oh, you're in the subway. You go through... I mean, because of the subway tunnels, it's long glorified hallway, so... You go through this long hallway, cutscene. Oh, we gotta go find this thing. Go all the way to the other corner, to the long other path, or other long path. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, okay, you find this NPC with the key. Then you go all the way back to where the locked door was, and then you go through that, and then you go through some more hallways that you have to keep walking through. And then, oh, this other thing is All locked. Right, then. Yeah, 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 I know, Emma. The, 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 the whole thing about Soul Hackers 2 is just uh, disappointing as... Or, uh, I don't know. But either way, though, it's a lot of back and forth. And there's no special gimmicks. There's no, like... Even though it wouldn't really make sense, but potential, like, manipulation of, like, the train tracks or potential rooms or maybe, like, let's say... Uh inactive trains or something, I don't know. Or at least like, you know, maybe like an abandoned subway tunnel where you can like jump into a train. Just like at least change something to make the environment look more like varied. So it's just like long subway tunnels and long hallways. And I'm just like, huh. And I keep repeating myself a lot, but I want to keep repeating myself again. I am... I would like to say that I'm a very patient person when it comes to JRPGs. Like, oh, come on. I I'm a fan of the Trail series. <laughs> Slow burns are what I live for as at this point. But even I was feeling like, man, this one dungeon is overstaying its welcome. And that is a big red flag. And I'm still relatively early in in Soul Hackers 2. So I can only hope that there's actual, like, other mechanics or something that would make going through these dungeons more fun. But I'll probably go back to rant about this when we go back to the Soul Hackers 2 tomorrow night. But I, I just gotta get this off my chest because again with all the off-stream grinding I've been doing, like, oh my god, because like you can't dash. So you can't like feel like you're at least going faster. Cause when you only have a one jogging speed. Trying to go through a long, empty dungeon feels like it takes longer than it should. Compared to like, SMT5, where it's a big open world or the dungeons have big long hallways, you can still dash while looking at your main character's fa like fabulous long silky hair, so at least you can have something nice to look at while you're running. But in Soul Hackers, like, you, you can't dash, there's no gimmicks, and again, bland. So then, I'm just like, why? Like, why is the- why are the dungeon designs in SMT5 and Soul Hackers 2 disappointing so far? So I'm kind of worried about the rest of Soul Hackers 2 content-wise. Although the story might pick- uh, probably will pick up. And also, Ringo's a very good main character. Like, sassy, witty, just overall charming. She's really cool. And she's hard carrying the rest of Soul Hackers 2 for me. Like, the music's pretty cool as well. The graphics are uh, pretty stylish looking too, so that's also another bonus. But yeah, the the general, like, dungeon layouts, which is basically where you'd be spending most of your time in the usual SMT game, you know? Or kind of like JRPGs in general, you know? Like, a big staple is how you're gonna make the dungeons. Like, puzzles like fun movement mechanics or maybe like have some active component in 
entering into battles or, you know, field attacks or something that you can do. Soul Hackers 2 doesn't really have much of that, sadly. So yeah, I just want to get that off my chest. Because, like, when I had a friend of mine raise up the criticisms of Soul Hackers 2 to me, I'm like, is it really like that? I kind of feel like it, but let me but let me keep let me keep playing and seeing. I kept playing off stream for the off stream stuff that I can pro uh, progress. I'm like, oh, oh, I know now I get what people are complaining about, and I'm like, ooh, it's rough. But anyways, anyways, that's enough Cold Steel 2 for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>